Again, good morning, everybody. I am um, Michelle Grants, licensed massage therapist at Smilo Cancer Hospital, and it's my honor and privilege and pleasure to be with you today. Um, we're going to be doing another acupressure program. This time, we're going to be talking about pain kind of throughout the body, different conditions, um, pretty much working from the head to the toe. If you'd like to grab a bottle of water, a cup of water, that could be helpful because sometimes as we work the points, we uh, move a lot of energy and can get a little bit thirsty. Um, so before we begin, also just bring yourself into a comfortable position, um, whatever is comfortable for you. Um, acupressure itself describes any type of massage that stimulates the pressure points on the body to achieve a therapeutic effect. It's the same points pretty much that an acupuncturist uses. They use the needles. And when we work with acupressure, we use our fingers to stimulate the same effect throughout the body. Acupressure originated in Asia thousands of years ago, but it was only more recently in the 20th century um, that its benefit and use has spread throughout the world. Acupressure uses points that lie on meridians throughout the body. These invisible lines, they carry chi or life force throughout the body. So in theory, when a meridian is blocked, um, we can become out of bad balance and illness or discomfort um, can occur. The benefits of acupressure include a boost of the immune system, a release of endorphins to relieve stress and pain. It can restore harmony and balance to the body. It can promote self-healing and wellness. It can improve emotional health, and it can improve the appearance of your skin tone. Again, with the, with the goal of acupressure to restore health and balance to the body's channels of energy, it regulates opposing forces of yin, which is negative energy, and yang, which is positive energy. The acupoints themselves are about the size of the pad of your thumb. When we start working and we touch exactly on the point, sometimes you can get around it, not exactly on it, which is fine too, but when you really get on it, you could feel a little soreness or a little bit of a nervy sensation there, and that can help you in locating the point. Um, as we work, we're gonna use sustained pressure in circular, small little circular strokes. Um, on your own, when you work, you would stimulate the point maybe one to three minutes. In the time we have allotted today, we may not be able to do that full effect on all the points, um, but we'll definitely be, be able to touch on them. Most of, the most of our meridians are on both sides of our body. We have one that runs down the front and one that runs down the back, but when we, stimulate the points that are on both sides of the body. We want to work both sides of the body to get an equal and opposite effect. So again, the points that we touch on, um, they carry chi or life force energy throughout the body. Now these points can either be deficient in energy or have an abundance of energy. Um, you think of them as like a river and throughout the river, there could be dams where there's not enough or pools where there's too much. So when we stimulate the points appropriately, we sort of open the flow for a balance running through. The meridians include, or sometimes they're called channels. There are 14 regular acupuncture or acupressure meridians. And just to review, they're called the bladder, the governing vessel, the gallbladder, the heart, the kidney, the large intestine, the liver, the lung, the pericardium, the conception vessel, the small intestine, the spleen, the stomach, and the triple burner or triple, triple warmer. Now, as we begin um, and to administer the acupressure to ourselves, as I said, you wanna be in a comfortable position. You can close your eyes or you can keep them open, whatever you prefer. You wanna stimulate the points with the finger in a rotary movement or up and down movement. Um, when we measure the points, sometimes we use the word kun, which is a measurement of a finger width. Um, to, so, I'm sorry, it's soon. It's, it's, it's written C-U-N, but it's pronounced soon. And two soon would be two finger widths. One soon would be one finger width. 
uh, four soon would be four finger widths across. Um, the acupressure points that we're going to work on today are gallbladder 14, stomach 3, stomach 13, stomach 16, spleen 16, bladder 47, bladder 42, bladder 38, lung 1, and spleen 4. Um, we're going to begin now, and as we do, just take slow, deep breaths when you feel uh, like a, a release of energy or stimulation. Um, just relax and just take those deep breaths in. So to start with, again, it's been, we're going to work with gallbladder 14. Um, I'm going to tell you what the location is, and then I'll talk about the benefits of that particular point as we work. The location, location of gallbladder 14 is on the forehead. It's one soon or one finger width above the eyebrows directly at the center of the pupil. So you're gonna make the straight line up. You can use whichever finger you want. You can use your thumb, you can use your pointer finger, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the fingers and we're gonna use a light touch on the forehead. When we work bigger muscles, we can use a deeper touch. And here we're gonna use a light touch. Feel for a slight indentation right here. And we're just gonna make circles and bring your shoulders down and relax. Now what we're releasing here is any kind of head and neck pain, facial pain, neck tension or headaches. The added benefit of releasing gallbladder 14 is it can just create some calm thinking and emotional balancing. So we're just gonna breathe and make our circles right here, gallbladder 14. You can use your index finger or you can use your thumb. And just take breaths as you need them. If you feel a little soreness, that's good. You know you're right on the point. Just take breaths in and out, in and out. And stimulate that gallbladder, gallbladder 14 point. Excellent. Now again, at home, as you do this on your own time, when you have you know time to sit and relax and release, you wanna work these points for one to three minutes if you can. Good. Okay, now we're gonna move on to our next point, which is stomach three. Stomach three is also located on the face. It's located at the bottom of the cheekbone. Now we're going directly down from the pupil and it's about one finger width lateral from the edge of the nose. So from here to here, going to go down below the pupil, feel for the base of the cheekbone, and we can use our index finger here. And again, you'll feel it. You'll feel a little soreness right here. And again, on the face, these are not thick, deep muscles, so we're going to use a gentle pressure. And we're going to go upwards, upwards towards the cheekbone to release Stomach three. Stomach three helps with any kind of pressure in the head also. Could help with toothache. It could help with sinus pain, which I know a lot of us may suffer with during allergy season. We're just gonna use a light pressure upwards and feel the release. This is sort of our facial beauty point. We'll stimulate circulation and keep our skin looking nice and young and supple, which is a nice added benefit. You may start to feel your sinuses opening up, which is good. Just feel the release. 
feel this gentle pressure moving up the cheekbone. Just keep that going. Gentle breaths. This is stomach three. Just keep that going. Just keep that going. Excellent. Stomach three. Feel the release. Feel the release, any pressure in the head. Again, tooth pain, headache, sinus pain. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. So just keep that going. Another minute. Another, another maybe 30 seconds or so. Good. Excellent. Okay. Now we're going to move on to stomach 13. Stomach 13 is located in the chest area. We're going to work some points down here in the chest area. The location of stomach 13 is below the midpoint of the collarbone or the clavicle, and it's located between the first and second ribs, which is right in line kind of with your breast area here. So you could kind of count down. We're going to go midpoint of the collarbone, and then we're going to move down, and you're going to feel your ribs, and you're going to go between the first and the second rib. You could kind of feel it right in here. You're going to use firmer contact on the chest muscles. If you're not exactly on it, that's okay because the whole um, acupressure point is the whole about the size of the pad of your thumb. So you have like a good amount of space there. But we're going to go like right about here. And again, this is stomach 13. This, another word for this um, acupressure point is chi door. It's an opening muscle. It helps with any kind of chest pain, chest congestion. Sometimes if we have appetite imbalances, it can help with that as well. Um, it's an excellent point for our breathing muscles, our breath muscles is stomach 13. So just keep that going. Feel the opening right between the first and the second rib. And keep the breath moving. Good. Excellent. Again, this helps with any kind of breathing issues, chest congestion, could help with some appetite imbalances as well. So just keep that going. Firmer pressures, fine. And take good deep breaths. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Good. Now we're going to move on to our next point which is stomach, six, stomach 16. Stomach 16 is again on the chest area. And to locate stomach 16, it's above the nipple area of the breast between the third and the fourth ribs. So we're gonna move down just a little bit from where we were and you just kind of feel your ribs. You can get access to where your ribs are also on the sides and you could feel, just feel for them. Feel the top rib, the second rib, then you'll find the third and fourth rib right about here. We're going to use a lighter pressure here because often there could be a tenderness here, particularly for women. But right about here, a little bit lower than we were, we were before. Again, it's stomach 16. This can help with heartburn. If you have heartburn, or if you have some breast pain, women that may be lactating or breastfeeding, this can help quite a bit. Another additional bonus and benefit of stomach 16 is if you have insomnia, which I think a lot of us apparently are suffering from these days with all that's on our mind. So this can help with that. You could just sort of feel the release start to happen 
You can feel it. Now, as we work, your shoulders are starting to relax a bit. Your breath gets deeper, a little calmer, a little more natural. Just take those deep breaths in. Again, a little lighter pressure here. Good. Good. Just keep that going. Take deep breaths and hopefully you're just starting to feel the effects now as we work. It's cumulative. The more points we work on, the more of a positive effect you're going to feel throughout your body. You can feel your toes. I feel my toes starting to relax, tingle because the circulation is starting to flow, which is excellent. That's what we're hoping for. Okay, moving on to the next point now. We're going to be working spleen 16. Spleen 16. Spleen 16 is located now a little lower down. It's actually below the edge of the rib cage at the junction of the ninth rib and the eighth rib. Again, from your breast nipple area, you're gonna go straight down. We have 12 ribs. So if you wanna go down to the 12th rib and count up to the ninth from there, that could be helpful as well. So you feel the 12th rib, go up 11, 10, nine, and between the ninth and the eighth rib. Between the ninth and the and the eighth rib, right in the middle here, you wanna place your fingertips onto the bottom and you wanna do an upwards motion here. You can go a little wider. You can use two, you can use a couple of finger widths here. And you just, you could just feel it. You feel the release below the breast area. Just go an upward motion. Keep your shoulders dropped. Maintain your breath and just move the rib cage upwards. This can help with any kind of diaphragm tension. We often hold our breath when we're stressed. It can help release all of that. If you have gas pains, side aches, indigestion pain, releasing spleen 16 is very helpful. So keep that upward pressure going. An added benefit of release at this point is helping with any kind of irritability. Good. Just keep that going. Good. Another few seconds here on spleen 16. Another word for spleen 16 is called abdominal sorrow, where we hold, it's where we hold some tension. Sometimes we get stomach aches when we're upset, and this will just help release you. Again, you can do this at home anytime, anytime you feel you need some sort of release there in the belly area. We're gonna move on now to Ladder 47. Ladder 47 is located midway. We're gonna to move, to, actually we're moving to our backs now. Now I just wanna say when we work on our back, you know, there's just so much we can do to reach back here. It would be awesome if we could reach our entire back. We would not need to go to massage therapists because we can massage ourselves, but we can try. Every little bit we do to release our back is helpful. And we can do this, we can do this. Um, so we're gonna start with the lower part of the back and then we're gonna work our way upwards. So right now, what we're gonna do, the iliac crest is right at the top here of the pelvic bone. That's the iliac crest. Now on the back, our ribs go across from the front to the back, of course. So where we're gonna find this spot is at the base of the lowest rib. Okay, so if you feel your spine, you feel your spine at the top of your hip area, you're gonna move three finger widths outside of that spine. It's sort of at the opposite end of your belly button, 
is kind of right where this point is. This bladder, this is bladder 47. Okay, so what we're gonna do, you'll find that spot. Again, it's the opposite side of your belly button. It's right above the hip area, and it's about three finger widths away from the spine in your lumbar area, okay? I'll turn a little bit and see if you could see that right about here. Good. This point helps with lower back ache. Lower back ache. Of course, if you have fatigue and stress, this is a good release as well. Those are added benefits. But primarily, if you have some lower back pain, this is a wonderful point to release. Now you could get in there good. You could really use some good pressure here because that's a strong muscle. We want to firmly press. It's like a thick rope muscle on both sides. And our motion now, move in towards the spine from out to in, out to in, and give that some good pressure. Again, this is Bladder 47, another name for this is Sea of Vitality. Good. Keep that going. This is a wonderful release. You know, it's a stretch for us, again, to reach back there. But the more you do it, the more open you'll become, and the easier it will be to reach back here. It's a it's good, good stretch for your shoulders as well. So again, this is Sea of Vitality. Excellent. So just keep that going. Another few seconds. Bladder 47. Excellent. Now we're going to move on to our next spot, which again is back here, another bladder meridian. And again, just know that it's, a, again, I understand it's a stretch for you to reach back here, but give it a try because it's good to know where these points are and they help so much in uh, energetic release. And if you have somebody at home who can do these points for you, that's even better. And you can tell them and explain where they are. So now we're gonna go to bladder 42, which is at the, okay, so we have our little wing bones back there, the scapula, and that's the bottom of the scapula. Here, let me move it down. The bottom of the scapula is about over here, okay? between the ninth and the 10th rib, right about here. So basically we're gonna move up about one finger width up from where we were before. And we're gonna just, again, press those with firm contact. It's right basically at the middle of your back. It's that spot that is very hard to get to, but try your best to reach back there. Just do the best you can because any work you do to release the paraspinal muscles back here is gonna be extremely helpful for you. This uh, bladder 42, it's also called the soul door and it helps with any kind of stomach pain, stomach ulcers, digestive pain, back and diaphragm tension. It's very helpful. If you wanna change over and kind of use your thumbs even, just get your thumb knuckle in there just as best you can. And don't worry if you're not exactly on that spot. Don't worry about that. Just with this, the paraspinal muscles go from the lumbar all the way up. And if you can release any part of that muscle, you're doing good work. Good, excellent. The last muscle we're gonna work on the back here is bladder 38. Now again, it's a little bit higher even than we were just working. It's a little towards the top of the scapula. So if you prefer now to go from your top down, which may be better than the bottom up at this point, just reach back as far as you can. Okay, back on your shoulders to the edge of your spine. It's, the point is on that inside edge of the scapula this time, level with the fourth um, thoracic vertebra, which is right at the top of your wing bone or scapula bone. What we're trying to do again is just release a paraspinal muscle. So just do the best you can. Take your hands again, go behind your head and down your spine as best as you can, whatever point you could reach. 
You may feel a little knots of tension there at the spine. And that's okay, just do your best to release that. This helps with any heart and respiratory um, issues, coughing, breathing, that sort of pain, upper back pain, of course. The added benefit, if you have some emotional imbalances, it will help with the release. So just do the best that you can to release that. You can go from the top down, or you can go from the bottom up as best that you can, and just release those paraspinal muscles along the spine. You don't wanna work right on the spine. You're gonna to be to the left and to the right of the spine. It's a big, thick, ropey muscle that goes all the way up. Good, excellent. That's not easy, I understand. So the best that you can do with that is good, good work. And you're gonna feel the positive effects of it for sure. The next point we're gonna work on now is lung one. Lung one, we're gonna go back to the front of the chest. It's on the upper outside portion of the chest. Right about here is lung one. This is our letting go point. Right about here. the upper outside portion of the chest, right about here. You feel for a knot here. Sometimes you feel a little knot right here in the upper outside portion of your chest. You wanna hold, now hold. Take your fingers and just press and hold here. This helps with the emotional, balancing, chest tension, cough, asthma. Sometimes we are just dealing with pain, just the effects, emotional effects of dealing with pain. And this is an excellent release right here. Just take your fingers and just press and hold for about 30 seconds and breathe. This is long one and it's our letting go point. Take a deep breath. Excellent. This is not easy, this is uh, challenging, but the effects are very, very, very beneficial, worthwhile, and they last a long time. It's not just a quick, oh, I feel better for a minute or two. You'll feel the positive effects throughout the day and maybe even throughout a couple of days, which would be nice. So the last um, acupressure point we're gonna work on today is spleen four. Spleen four is actually on the foot. So we're gonna go down to the foot here and to find the, the spleen four acupressure point, it's on the arch of the foot. It's at a little indentation here. You're gonna feel there's a, there's a, um, metatarsal bone right here below right here the toe bone basically is right here now on the outside here and then over a bit so you're right at the arch right there you feel a little nervy spot right there it's on the outside below the toe bone right there See if you feel that sensitive, is a sensitivity there. You wanna firmly press into this acupressure point. If you wanna go a little down and up, that's fine too. You're gonna to get that a good release and it's also helpful to release the entire arch. This spleen four point helps with stomach aches, stomach pain, foot pain and cramps, large toe pain. I don't know if any of you all of a sudden you're sleeping at night and you get this pain in your big toe. You just press on the arch from the bottom towards the top and you'll feel a nice release here. If you have some poor circulation and cold feet in the winter time, which we're only dreaming of now, you could stimulate this point here and create some warmth. This is spleen four. Good. 
It's important to do both sides. So we're going to move to the other foot. And again, we're going to locate that point. We're going to find the big toe, the base of the metatarsal bone. And we're going to move in a little bit. And we're going to feel that spot there. Right towards the top of the arch. So first we're gonna press and hold so we find that little nervy sensitive spot there so you know you're on it. And once you find it, spend a little time there. Feel free to do the entire arch from the base of the arch up to that spleen four point. Just keep working that for a little while longer. Good. Excellent. Keep that going. Nice release for you. Again, helps with circulation, stomach pain, foot pain, large toe pain. Good. Good. Excellent. So we're going to finish off and just take a nice deep breath in. Through the nose. And out through the mouth. Again. And one more breath in. And out. We'll stretch our arms out both sides. Arms overhead. And down into prayer pose. Excellent. That was a lot of work for you today, but I hope you're starting to already feel the effects of that. I know I definitely do. I feel my entire, now my hands are kind of circulation is going. And just remember that this is work that you can do anytime, anytime in the morning before you go to bed, um, just to kind of open the channels and just get that chi going. So thank you for joining everybody. Be well. And I hope to see you Thursday for a guided meditation program at 1.30. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.